In the outback of Australia, you can sense the great antiquity of the Earth and the tiny amount of time that humanity has been part of its history. The Punalulu National Park is also part of the Kimberley region of northwestern Australia. This puzzling landscape is known as the Bungle Bungles. The bedrock of this plateau is very ancient, laid down in the estuaries of rivers early in the Earth's history. But the curious beehive-shaped domes of sandstone are comparatively recent creations, shaped during the last 20 million years. The bizarre striping is due to the way alternate layers of sandstone have developed a protective coating of either red iron oxide or blue-green lichens. If it were not for this natural covering, the fragile sandstone shapes would have been worn down long ago. This jewel of the Kimberleys is now one of Australia's 500 national parks, all illustrating chapters in the country's long and dramatic geological story. The largest of Australia's natural wonders is the Great Barrier Reef. It fringes 1,400 miles of the tropical Queensland coast. It's a complex mosaic of 3,000 individual reefs and many small islands, all built of coral and sand. Evolved over hundreds of thousands of years, it's one of nature's most impressive creations. The first astronauts to circle the Earth reported they could make out the colour and shapes of the individual reefs and lagoons and the vivid blue of the deeper open water in between. Closer to the surface, the separate coral formations become discernible. Each one is a community of different kinds of coral that between them create these intricate limestone structures. This colony of brain coral is 20 feet in diameter and perhaps 2,000 years old, just one component part of the largest living structure on our planet. In contrast to Australia, New Zealand has a skyline dominated by mountains. Tallest of all is Mount Cook, part of the young, rugged spine of South Island. The southwest coast is cut through by fjords. This is Milford Sound, 12 miles long, 1,000 feet deep, and flanked by the world's tallest sea cliffs. <laughs> 